This tutorial is going to address the tiny house framing assignment for my grade 10s. Um, so what we're going to start out with is we're going to start with 2x4 framing, which we have discussed in the past. Uh, has a real life size of 35 by one 5 And as specified in the instructions, the living area is going to be 9 feet high. Although for the sake of making math just a little easier, uh, what you're going to do is you're going to lay down a 2x4 across the bottom and you're going to use a 9 foot board and then lay a board across the top. Uh, so what that's actually going to do is it's going to give you a height of 9 foot 3 inches because you have the additional height of the bottom of the top board which makes up the 3 inches which is okay because what's going to happen is you're going to lay down uh, material for flooring and there's going to be some material for uh, the ceiling and stuff like that. And that's going to pretty much gobble up that three inches. So that was the thinking behind that. Uh, so of course you're starting out with a basic size of 28 foot half inch and 8 feet 3 inches. So what I did is I laid down the rectangle. And this example just kind of gets you started. Um, it's going to show you how to get the first wall started. Uh, there's going to be a part two to this video that shows the correct way to frame in windows and doors. Uh, so we're going to just address the getting started portion of this video. So you're going to lay down the bottom board. Um, you can go from left to right or right to left when um, putting in your vertical board, your studs. Um, I chose to go from left to right. What you're going to do is you're going to space them 16 inches apart, which is 1 foot 4 inches because 1 foot is 12 inches. 12 plus, plus 4 is 16. And you're going to space them all the way along here. Uh, don't worry about doors and windows quite yet. We're going to get to that in part 2. And just because of the way mathematics work out, uh, the last one is going to have a bit of an oddball size. Uh, for this one, it's 1 foot 3 inches. If you do that, that will get you started. Um, I would suggest doing this all the way around. And then once you've done that, then you can go on to the windows and doors. And we're going to get to that in part two of the video. 